Hi everyone, I am Dr. E. Naresh Kumar, Assistant Professor in the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today we are going to have a discussion on efficiency of DC motor, the DC motor losses. So first here, what is meant by DC uh, uh, machine efficiency? Any machine efficiency means uh, the ratio of output to the input is known as efficiency. Percentage efficiency means efficiency percentage efficiency equals to output by input into 100 that is now if you give any machine so for this is a machine here if you give input to the machine and you will get the output and you will get some losses here so first what are the losses here if you give the input to the any machine you will get the output and some losses now in case of dc machine also if you give the in case of generator, if you give the mechanical energy, you will get the output is the uh, electrical energy and you will get the some losses. Same way here, the output equals to input minus losses. If you uh, uh, rewrite this uh, equation, so output equals to input minus total losses here. Now, same thing here, output equals to input minus losses here. Now, in case of generator so in in case of generator in case of generator what is the output of electrical en electrical energy is the electrical electrical energy is the output so now in case of uh, motor motor electrical energy is the input so now this formula here, this is the output. Efficiency equals to output by input into 100. Here, this is for only for motor. Because in the motor case, electrical is the input. So now here, efficiency equals input minus total losses in terms of electrical uh, power and losses I am representing in case of motor electrical energy is the input and uh, total losses are the now here in case of generator output is the electrical this is for generator and input equals to output plus losses this formula now here in case of generator the efficiency equals to output by input plus uh, total loss, output plus some losses, this one. And in case of motor, input minus total losses divided by input into 100. Now, here, what are the losses? Here, losses are classified into three categories. Here, copper losses, iron losses, and mechanical losses. Here, copper losses means here, the winding losses here. We can call this copper losses are winding losses and iron losses are core losses. We can call this iron losses are core losses and mechanical losses. Next here, winding. What are the windings here? Armature winding and field winding. So if it is a shunt motor, shunt generator, shunt machine. So in the shunt machine, there may be a shunt, shunt field winding. And if it is a series machine, there may be a series field winding. So due to that resistance and that current, so there may be a loss. That loss is known as the copper loss. So winding losses because of that. If that uh, winding uh, loss, uh, that R, if it is because of armature winding copper, so that may be a armature copper loss. If it is a shunt, shunt field winding, that is shunt copper loss. If it is a series field winding, that is series copper loss. Apart from uh, this and next another loss is brush contact resistance drop so fourth one that is that is also loss and next in the iron losses there are two types of losses hysteresis losses and eddy current losses now next mechanical losses these are different in the mechanical losses frictional losses and windage losses that means air friction losses so these two are important i will explain one by one first i will explain armature copper losses shunt copper losses series copper losses and brush contact resistance drop uh, 
resistance loss. Next, hysteresis and eddy current in the category of core loss and wind and this friction losses I will explain in the mechanical losses. Now, first one, copper losses. So, what are the copper losses? Copper losses means always I square because of resistance and current flowing through that winding. Because of winding only, this is the armature. So, armature core and this is the field core, field winding. So, because of field winding and armature winding, there may be a loss. So, now in the DC machine. So, here see the definition here, the losses that occur due to the resistance of various winding. So, different windings in the machine are called copper losses. What are the different windings here? Armature winding, this one and field winding, this one. Field may be a series or parallel, series or shunt. So, sometimes in the compound motor, both series and compound series and shunt windings we will use. So, because of different windings we will use, winding resistance, there may be a occur, then when current flows in that winding, that loss, there may be a loss, that loss is known as a copper loss. Next case, next point, so copper losses are winding losses because of the winding so these are the winding losses taking place during the when current flows to the winding only when there is no current there is no loss because here current value is zero that loss is zero even it is a winding so so now because of this current flowing through that winding and that resistance is known as that is copper loss now here i square r Next, copper losses are proportional to the square of the current, this one. So, these are proportional to the square of the current flowing through the winding. Next, that losses occur due to the resistance in the winding. So, due to the resistance in the winding in a DC machine, there may be two winding that may be armature winding and field winding, this one, armature winding. Because of this armature winding and field winding and this current flowing through this that are uh, the copper losses may occur. The copper losses are directly proportional to the square of current and resistance. Next, copper losses are also known as I square R losses. Next, copper losses are categorized into three parts. First, armature copper loss field winding copper loss and brush contact resistance loss. So, field winding means that may be a series and shunt copper loss. So, first one here in this armature copper losses. Armature is represented with A. So, that loss. So, possibility of loss here 30 percent and these are the variable losses depending upon the load only. So, load may be a variable. So, if this uh, losses are also known as uh, variable losses. Now, here armature copper losses are I square A or into IA, IA. This is A represents the armature. Now, next field copper losses. Field copper losses may be shunt and series. Here, this uh, possibility 25 percent and these are the constant losses. Now, Shunt field copper losses ISH. ISH indicates the shunt. Next, series field copper losses and these are the 25 percent. Now, here shunt field copper losses are the constant, but here these series field copper losses are not constant. These are the variable losses. Now, here armature copper losses are the variable and shunt field copper losses are the constant and series field copper losses are the variable. Now, here to occurrence of these losses are total in the total losses out of uh, 30 percent losses are armature copper losses and 25 percent copper losses are uh, this field winding shunt and series field winding copper losses. Next, another category brush contact resistance drop. So, these are the brushes here. So, brush holders. Now, here this uh, loss occurs due to the brush contact resistance between commutator and surface of the brush. 
commutator this is the commutator here and surface of the brush so there may be a resistance because of this resistance there may be a drop that drop is known as the copper loss in the, under the category of copper loss the brush contact resistance drop so now here so the practical calculation this loss is generally included in the armature copper loss only next iron losses what are the iron losses here eddy current losses and hysteresis losses first here is this is the diagram so because of core these are these losses are also known as a core losses here what are the core uh, core core is the armature core and field core here now here losses occur in the core only because of losses occur in the core means they, because of this reason we, we will call it as a core losses and what is the core here armature armature core armature core is here laminated so here if this core is rotating part here due to the rotation of armature in the magnetic field is called the core losses iron losses this core is made up of with iron material so now here this is the field and north pole and south pole this is the armature core rotation of armature this is the rotation of armature is rotating and this in the magnetic field stationary magnetic field so losses occur in the core losses occur in the armature core of the dc machine of the dc machine due to the rotation of armature in the magnetic field are called core losses that means iron losses now next point normally this machines are operated with constant speed so these losses are called constant losses because here this core losses we can call it as cop armature copper losses are variable losses shent field copper losses are constant losses and series field copper losses are variable losses with these uh, iron losses both hysteresis and eddy current losses are constant because they are operated with constant speed if they are operated with different speed these are the variable losses because here they are operated with constant means these losses are constant these are the constant losses now here is there are two types of losses hysteresis losses and eddy current losses first i will explain hysteresis losses what are hysteresis losses here these hysteresis losses are occur in the core loss that means core loss occurs in the core of the armature of the machine due to the magnetic field reversal of core when it is passes under the successful uh, successive magnetic poles of the different polarity is called hysteresis so here what is meant by successive magnetic poles of different polarities means here different polarities means north and south and magnetic poles are north and so south pole successive and under magnetic field reversal so in this case false uh, 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 losses may occur such type of false are known as hysteresis losses so hysteresis loss formula here this is the formula hysteresis losses here now here kh is the constant and b is the flux density b is the flux density kh b maximum and 1.6 power f into v b is the flux density and f is the frequency and v is the what is meant by v v volume of the material so v is the volume v indicates not voltage here v is the volume of the material now second uh, type of iron core is here eddy current loss eddy current loss means when armature of dc machine rotates and this is the north pole and south pole south pole this is the armature armature rotates in the stationary magnetic field that and induced emf will be 
developed rotating conductor, placed in a stationary magnetic field and induced EMF will be developed in the armature. Armature is a core and which circulates the when there is a closed path there may be a current that current is known as the eddy current. So the power loss due to this eddy currents are known as eddy current loss. Now rotating conductor, so we know that uh, generator principle rotating, in case of motor also back EMF will be generated. When rotating conductor placed in a stationary magnetic field, induced EMF will be developed in the armature conductor according to the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and dynamically induced EMF. And induced EMF will be developed in the armature core and it circulates when it is closed path it circulates the current and induced currents there may be a current so that currents are induced uh, eddy currents so power loss due to the such currents are known as eddy current loss there is, there may be a formula eddy current equals to here that formula equals to k into k e e indicates here sub e suffix k suffix e indicates here eddy current here h indicates the hysteresis and b maximum flux density square and f square here is a frequency and this is the t t means here thickness or thickness of lamination here here this armature core is laminated to reduce the eddy current losses here that lamination thickness is represented, I represented here, that is T and here V is the volume of the core. So, this is regarding iron loss. Now here iron losses are hysteresis losses and uh, eddy current losses. These are also known as the core losses. Now next, this losses percentage depending upon the quality and volume of the iron only. Here like uh, armature copper losses and field copper losses 30% and 25% respectively. But here these losses percentage is depending on quality and volume of the iron core. Now next mechanical losses. What are the mechanical losses here? Friction losses and windage losses here at the shaft here. So friction and windage loss. So first here, first one, the power loss due to mechanical friction and windage in the DC machine are known as mechanical losses. Now here in the DC machine, friction losses occur in the form of bearing friction and brush friction while the windage losses occurring occurs due to air friction of rotating armature. Now next mechanical losses depending upon the speed of the machine only but these losses are practically constant for a given speed so these losses are also known as the constant losses now next one these are the losses usually so this losses percentage out of total percentage 15 percent losses are mechanical losses next constant here in the previous slide we discussed iron losses and first side we discussed copper losses copper losses and next to mechanical losses this iron losses means core losses plus mechanical losses iron losses plus mechanical losses we, we call it as a stray losses next variable losses and constant losses. So see the definition first. So those losses in the DC machine that remains constant at all the loads in case of any load. So that losses are constant. Such type of losses are known as the constant losses. Now examples for this. So first iron losses are the constant because they uh, at any speed, uh, this speed is constant and shunt field copper losses are the constant and mechanical losses are the constant. These are already we discussed and next these losses are in the DC machine that may vary with. So next definition variable losses. These are the constant losses. Next variable losses. So vary with the load. 
sir vary with the load it's only this difference and remains constant at all the loads then that losses are known as the variable losses examples what are the examples armature copper loss and series field copper losses are the best examples for variable losses now total losses in the dc machine equals to constant losses plus variable losses here what are the losses here iron loss and mechanical losses and here copper losses copper losses here armature copper losses and series field copper losses and shunt field copper losses comes under the constant losses only these are the binding losses next efficiency of dc machine can be calculated can be uh, determined by different test the test or testing of dc machine so first step here this machine efficiency we can determine that losses directly sometimes we can directly determine the efficiency sometimes we can uh, after calculating the uh, losses then we can determine the efficiency efficiency percentage efficiency equals to output by input into 100 here input equals to output plus some losses here so now here first test is here swim one's test this is no load test here we will this is the no load test and next here brake test this is load test on dc shunt motor and dc series uh, dc uh, compound motor and next field test if we will conduct this test on only series motor two setups two identical series motor we will conduct and next hopkinson test we will conduct these two shunt machines are required here two series machines are required so now this is the load test and this is the no load test so these are the four tests we will conduct uh, we can conduct for uh, uh, to determine the efficiency of dc machine i hope all these concepts are clear to you if you still have any doubts you can comment in the comment section below I will answer to your queries. Thank you. Thank you very much to you all. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.